Hey, what's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. So this is Paul Bonin Vargas of Zebian Manila. So for today's video, we will be making a leather mouse pad. Meron na siyang brown leather uh, desk pad which you can check on the links below and over here. So ayun. So yung video na to is more of making a leather mouse pad. So bale back story lang about 2 or 3 weeks ago um nag encode kami ng mga grades nung anak ko um, si Carly kasi she is in a homeschooling program so nag encode kami kaso biglang nagloko yung uh, MacBook ko parang nag dead screen or basta nag blackout yung screen for about one day yata so halos din namin ma gamit yung MacBook Napaayos ko na yun dati kaso ayun nag nagloko na naman. So ayun napilitan kaming kumuha ng PC set. Um this one, you can check the PC set. It's actually from Alien Tech. So yung may-ari ng Alien Tech is si Kuya Ailu. Um ano ba tamang term? Brother-in-law or brother-in-law ng asawa ko. So basta ayun. <laughs> Sorry magulo. Ayun. So if you're looking for um PC set um, if you're in QC area, actually, pwede, pwede Metro Manila, pwede naman. Check out yung Alien Tech. I'll be linking them down below also. And yung table natin is from Art Steelworks. We will also be uh, linking them down below. And yung gaming chair natin is brought from Eurotex. Actually, wala pa. <laughs> wala pa. So, um... Baka may mag-sponsor dyan. Okay naman. Alright. So, here's our video of our leather mouse pad. So, check it out. Alright. So, for today's video, what we will be doing is a leather mouse pad. So, here's a 20 by 25 centimeters na wedge stand leather. Tapos, what we will be needing is a 5 peso coin or any coins na pwede mong magamit pang corner out ng leather natin. Um, Siyempre, cutter. And, you're probably thinking kung ano tong malaking ganito <laughs> dito. Actually, um, bumi napabili ako nito. Actually, humiling ako sa nanay ko. <laughs> so, parang ano na eh, um, Christmas in birthday. Kasi... Christmas na, Janu um, December, and birthday ko na, January. So, ganun talaga pag December, tapos Christmas, tapos January birthday mo, parang pinag-iisa lagi yung regalo. So, ayun. Anyway, thank you again to my mom, Zenaida Vargas. So, bale, kaya ako napabili nito, or kaya ako humiling ng ganito is, actually pang ano siya, pang butas, ng, for puncher siya. Um, for example, this one, nakakabit yung two-prong two puncher natin. Tapos, gagamitin mo lang siya parang, sorry, pang sample lang. Ganito. Yeah. So, ayun. Butas na siya. So, kaya ako nag-isip na bumili nito or mag-acquire nito is pag umaga, nag, syempre, ito gamit natin, pampalo. Pero, pag gabi na, Usually, di ako makapagbutas na leather kasi uh, nakakaya sa mga kapitbahay. Baka mapalayas kami dito sa condo. So, ayun. Kailangan bumili ng something na pwede mong... Parang ano siya? Uh, pwede ka pang makapag-work, makapagtrabaho, makapagbutas ng leather kahit gamin na. So, poproblemayahin mo na lang yung pagtatahe. Um, I'm trying to figure it out kasi yung napapagana ko lang is yung two prong puncher. Um, yung sa 4, di ko alam kung kailangan ko siya i-hasain ba? Tama ba yung term? Hasain? Iba yung manggagahasa ah. Iba yun. Manggahasa! So, anyway. Yung toprong puncher, pero it's working naman. So, ayun. Um, start na tayo gumawa ng mouse pad natin. Alright? So, making the leather mouse pad is one of the easiest way to do a project. Bale, kuha ka lang ng leather sheet mo and yun, automatic siya na pwede na siyang maging leather mouse pad. Pero, syempre, para magkaroon ng Zebian Manila Touch, lalagyan natin siya ng corners and tatahian natin all around. So, yun. 
corners. Gawin muna natin yung corners. Alright, so here's our leather mouse pad. Actually, ready na siya. Pero, syempre, kailangan natin tahian sa paligid para magkaroon ng Zebian Manila Touch. So, let's get our wing divider. And then, after natin makuha yung wing divider, ikutan natin siya ng stitching lines. And, bubutasan natin using our parang semi-drill machine. Alright. Alright, so we're done cornering out our leather para sa leather mouse pad natin and nakapaglagay na din tayo ng stitching guides. So this time, bali gagamitin na natin tong parang machine natin, okay? So ganun lang siya. I ano mo lang siya sa ilalim and start na tayo. Alright, so we're finally done punching our holes sa leather mouse pad natin. So, syempre, tatahiin na natin to. So, sa pagtatahi, gagamitin natin is saddle stitch. So, paikot mo lang siya. And then, after that, we're finally done with our leather mouse pad. Okay? So, tahi na tayo. Alright, so, when you're stitching your leathers, ang um, isa sa pinakamabilis na way is use your stitching pony that way yung both hands mo pwede mo magamit sa pag-stitch pag and hindi yung pa isa-isa gaya nga nung sabi ng kakilala ko named Nicolo Nimor work hard but work smart So that's it for our video today. It's our leather mouse pad. And if you have more questions or suggestions kung ano pang pwede magawa natin na leather product, send us a comment below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And syempre, check mo na din yung notification bell para kapag may bagong videos tayo, makakapanood kayo agad. So again, this is Paul Bonnie Vargas of Zebian Manila. And for more videos nga pala, you can check over here on the side and our subscribe button is on the side also. So, Thank you and Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays.